Hi, my name is Siobhan Shepherd, and I'm the Program Manager for Level 2 and Level 3 Veterinary Nursing Courses at Caffrey Greenmount Campus. Over the next 15 minutes, this short presentation will hopefully answer all the questions you might have if you're considering training and wish to work in this particular career. Over the next 15 minutes, this presentation will provide you with more details about both courses, the entry requirements, the course content, assessment methods and course fees of these courses available at Greenmount Campus CAFRI. The first course I want to talk about is the Level 2 Certificate in Veterinary Care Support. This course is ideally suited for those that are interested in working as a veterinary care assistant or an animal nursing assistant in a veterinary care profession. This course is one academic year starting in September and completing the following June. Students would be required to attend Greenmount campus near Antrim one day per week with some lessons online. Students must also be employed or be volunteering in a veterinary practice in Northern Ireland for 600 hours for the duration of the course from September to June. This works out at a minimum of 18 hours per week. Prospective students must arrange their own placement in advance of applying for the course. The entry requirements for the Level 2 Certificate in Veterinary Care Support is a minimum of two GCSEs, Grade C or three Grade Ds. These GCSEs or equivalencies must include English and Maths. Students must also need to demonstrate on their application form that they have secured a placement of 600 hours in, the vet, in a veterinary practice for the duration of the course from September to June, which works out about 18 hours per week. This can be paid or unpaid. The course content of the Level 2 Certificate in Veterinary Care Support includes a range of units, which are all mandatory. They include topics such as legislation, safe working practice, animal health and welfare, animal environment and accommodation, patient care, animal anatomy and physiology and veterinary care support. All units are reflective of the duties that a veterinary care assistant or an animal nurse would be carrying out in their workplace. The course is assessed using an online portfolio of evidence which students will gather and collect from their work placement. It's continuously assessed throughout the course and will require students to demonstrate underpinning knowledge and practical application of the knowledge in their work placement. All units must be passed to achieve the full certificate. The fees attached to the Level 2 course are tuition fees and awarding body fees. There's no financial support associated with this course, which means traditionally students pay for this course themselves or occasionally your employer or workplace provider may do so. It's important that students clarify this at the start with whatever veterinary practice they are carrying out their placement or employment with. The next course is the Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing for Companion Animals. This course will take up to two and a half years to complete. Students are required to attend Caffrey Greenmount Campus one day per week. 
For the rest of the week they will be employed in a CAFRI approved training veterinary practice known as a TP. Prospective students must arrange this employment with the training practice in advance of applying for the course at CAFRI Greenmount. A list of approved training veterinary practices can be found on the CAFRI website under the Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing course page. Dental requirements for the Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing are 5 GCSE, Grades C or above. This must include GCSE English, Maths and Science or equivalents. Equivalents to English and Maths could be the Level 2 Essential Skills in Literacy and Numeracy. If students do not have a GCSE Science, they should contact the Programme Manager to check what alternatives are acceptable as equivalent science. Students must also have three months work experience in any veterinary practice before starting. This could have been gained as a three month block or gained as part of a Saturday job or work experience gained over a longer period of time. It should accumulate to 400 hours. It must be gained in a veterinary practice and therefore work experience gained in a dog grooming, parlour, equestrian yard, farm or animal shelter is not acceptable. The course content of the Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing again covers a wide range of content. Units include professional registration, diagnostic principles, pharmacology and dispensary, anaesthesia and theatre nursing, life stage nursing and support, surgical and patient care and practical nursing care. The anatomy and physiology which a student will need is embedded throughout the relevant units and the species that are covered during this course are dogs, cats, rabbits and guinea pig only. This Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing is assessed using a range of assessment methods. Students will be required to complete an online portfolio of clinical skills from their workplace. They will have a number of assignments and online multiple choice exams to do at campus. They also will have to travel to a GB college at the end of the course to carry out a practical clinical skill exam. This exam normally takes half a day and is the final piece of assessment before a student can qualify. All assessment must be passed to achieve this course and qualification. There's fees attached to this course. And again, there's no financial support available for students on this course. However, Occasionally, employers will pay for tuition fees where the student is employed in their veterinary practice. This is something that must be discussed and should be clarified from the outset with a student and the employer in the approved veterinary practice. The fees range from tuition fees, registration fees with the awarding body, registration fees with the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons, and exam fees. What is not included in this slide is the travel cost to, to Great Britain for the final practical exam. Students who are enrolled on the Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing are ultimately working towards gaining the full qualification and being able to join the professional register held by the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons, the RCVS. Currently, there's only two pathways in the UK in which an individual can train to become an RVN, a registered veterinary nurse. They either complete the Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing, which CAFRI provides, or they complete a degree in Veterinary Nursing, which is currently not available in Northern Ireland. CAFRI is one of only two 
Northern Ireland colleges where you can train as an RVM. Graduates from the Level 3 will join the RCVS RVN register. Graduates must maintain this RCVS registration by completing annual training known as CPD after they complete the Level 3 Diploma in Veterinary Nursing. Both these courses are delivered at Greenmount Campus, Antrim. This campus is located a few miles on the outskirts of Antrim. The building you're looking at is the Greenmount Resource Centre, which houses the library, the cyber cafe, IT suites and some teaching classrooms. Traditionally, veterinary nursing and animal nursing assistants do not stay on campus overnight, as they're only expected to be on campus one day per week. Most students travel by car or arrange for public transport to Antrim and out to the campus. While on campus, students have full access to the Caffrey Library and IT suites. In the library, they will have access to library books relating to their course, journals, newspapers, electronic journals and periodicals which they would need to access for their course. CAFRI also operates a virtual learning environment called CAFRI Online. This is where lecturing staff will be placing class notes, assignments, PowerPoints, relevant videos, diagrams and assignments linked to the course. Students should make arrangements to a full IT access from home. There will be an expectation that students can and will submit coursework and assignment electronically. While on campus, students will carry out some practical tasks. However, the majority of their work relating to practical skills will take place and be carried out in their workplace. Each year, Level 2 and Level 3 veterinary care assistants and registered veterinary nurses will graduate from CAFRI from our Greenmount campus. In addition, Level 3 registered veterinary nurses, RVNs, will also be invited to graduate as a registered veterinary nurse at the RCVS in London. For more information, you can find details at the CAFRI website. Follow our social media channels at, channels at Discover CAFRI on Facebook or email us at inquiries at caffrey.ac.uk. Thanks for listening.